Here we have the high plank. So you're up on your hands, hands are directly underneath your shoulders, core is nice and tight, and your back is straight. You can drop to your knees here if you need to, to kind of get that position down right, get your wrists used to being uh, down on the floor like that, and then try back up into the high plank. And then next we have the low plank here, so you're down on your forearms. Again, core is tight, back is straight, elbows are directly underneath the shoulders on this one. And then you also have the option to drop down to your knees. This low plank tends to be a little more difficult than the high plank. And then you can also try dropping to your knees for a second and then holding back up and kind of going back and forth, just giving yourself a little break or even one knee down at a time and then lifting up into the full plank. Here I'm gonna show some common mistakes. So either an arch in the back where you kind of sink your hips down or the butt lifted up too high. So you really wanna be right in the middle there, really thinking about that straight line. And same thing down in the low plank, I tend to see people sag their hips down, which puts a lot of pressure on the low back, or lift their hips up too high, as shown here. So again, one straight line, core is tight, neck is in line with the spine, and that is the plank.